Oh man, you know, all this city planning, all this city building and trying to plan this entire capital of ours out. It's just, it's just exhausting on me, guys. It's so tiring. I think, I think I need a little siesta. Ah, uh, here we go. Nice and quiet and peaceful new world. Simpler life, simpler times. Visit with the people, colorful houses, and just enjoy it. And then go hang out at the brand new little home that I get to build for myself here. Amongst all my little followers in the new world. At the end of a long and dusty road outside of town, I get to have my very own Hacienda. My little home away from home. My little sanctuary right here in the new world. What's going on, guys and gals? Welcome back into Samano 1800. Season 4 is upon us, and it is time to get the Hacienda here in our 1 million pop playthrough up and running. We're going to take a quick little vacation for about maybe two episodes from the Capitol building in Crown Falls, and we are going to focus on the new content, that being the Hacienda. So I have been playing it during early access. If you've missed those streams over on Twitch, I do encourage you to go check them out. The VODs will be up for about a month or so. So do go check those out over on twitch.tv slash Takarazuka. You can see all of the fun that we had learning about this new uh, mechanic and playing around with and coming up with some really cool designs. I'm really, I'm actually kind of excited about it. The more I played with this mechanic, the more I really, really liked it. Now, I'm not going to go into a full mechanics breakdown in this video. I do have a video on the channel. It's listed under the Anno 1800 Ultimate Guide, and it is the uh, full breakdown of the Hacienda mechanics and how everything works. So I'm not going to go into a full explanation of it all here. We are simply just going to build. We're building our first one here on La Ayacha. And I've been thinking about it, and what I'm going to end up doing with this is we are going to get rid of a lot of these sugarcane plantations that we have currently over here. We're going to get rid of those. We're going to get rid of the caoutchouc, uh, get rid of that stuff, uh, the uh, cocoa, basically everything over here except for the tobacco. You cannot grow tobacco in the hacienda, but you can grow everything else. So that is what I am planning on adding to that. Now... We, our fuel station is likely, likely not going to reach all the way over to where I kind of placed the Hacienda down for cinematic purposes. So we are going to move it over here. I'm going to have plenty of room for it over here once I get rid of all of these farms. Make sure, do I have enough stuff in storage at the moment? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Uh, Cowchuck, plenty of that. So I'd be perfectly okay with going ahead and destroying a bunch of this stuff. So let's go ahead and do some mass destruction. Uh, let's see. I am just going to move him off to the side. We are going to utilize you later. Not going to need any of this kind of stuff, though. Not going to need any of the that most likely. All right. So say goodbye to the cinematic version of the Hacienda and we're going to get the actual one going here. So get him right about in here. Well, let's see. I have to consider that right now I'm at what, 25? So I'm going to get 15 more tiles worth of space around it. I want to make sure I get as much space as possible. Thinking right about in here will be okay. That'll give me a little space that I can put maybe something over on this. Maybe I'll move it a little bit more over this way. Yeah, that way I can get some good use maybe out of this little island thingy right here. This little this little scraggly part of an island and get some more space over here. So I think that is where we're going to go with it. Uh, yeah, I don't know what's happening with that road right there. All right, so give me just a second. I'm going to do some quick layout with this guy and see what I can come up with just for a quick basic layout, and then we will get started with some more building. So I'll see you guys in just a second. All right, so I've made a couple of decisions off camera real quick. Uh, mostly just took about 10 minutes just to think about this. I am going to use the Hacienda uh, Ornolero quarters for these right here. Not many of them, just a few to boost up our workforce right here. 
We are going to have a trade union down here, and I'm going to swap a few things out for this right here. Uh, we are going to have the sugarcane and the corn around this one right here. And then I'm going to do another trade union, and I don't even know where he is at. There he is right there. And we are going to slot in uh, Horticulturist Herman as well as the Arborist over here. So get a couple of more specialists going on in another trade union that's going to go right over in this general area. Probably right about here-ish. Yeah, somewhere right around there. It's not going to be perfect right now. I'm not really worried about making it perfect at the moment. I just want to kind of get things in there. And as I place stuff, we will see how it turns out. Let's grab Arborist. We'll grab Horticulturist Herman. So he does quite a few things. The coffee, uh, the coffee farms. Just wait. Oh, plantain, plantation. Let's say plantation, plantation. The uh, coffee, the caoutchouc, and the cocoa. She also does cocoa, caoutchouc, and coffee. And then this right here is mostly, for, and you know what? The more I think about it, I think I would rather swap some of these around. Maybe put this up here. Uh, just because the coffee is going to be kind of a bigger deal for us. Uh, the coffee, although, is being produced over here. So we are going to do another Hacienda over, the, over there. So up here was the sugarcane, tobacco, and caoutchouc. Yeah, sugarcane, caoutchouc right there. Okay, well, well, we'll see what we come up with. It's all very fluid. We will, we will figure it out as we go. All right, so let's get our hacienda farms going. I don't exactly know where they're going to go just yet. I haven't really, uh, haven't really planned that far ahead. I just know that they're going to go in here somewhere. There it is. Okay, so um, we're actually going to start, oddly enough, with just think. To get him right here, actually. Okay, we're going to do potatoes on this one. That way I can get... I want to get the potatoes and spices going first and foremost. We are going to go ahead and also put in a fertilizer silo, even though I don't have that uh, happening just yet. I will in just a little while, so I want to go ahead and get those attached. I'm not really going to worry about making it look all perfect and pretty either. Now, as long as he can reach, and he can, he looks like he has a very good reach to it, so this potato farm is going to be churning out some potatoes for us. Let's also go ahead and grab a Hacienda Brewery here. We'll get some schnapps going. Good, good, good. They don't even need beer yet, so I don't have to worry about that just yet we will in a little while but we won't have to worry about it just yet this is going to get the schnapps over here to these ornoleros though all right so what let's see what have i destroyed what do i got to rebuild here let's get rid of all of this stuff all of this stuff all of this stuff just get rid of all the farms all the farms can go we're going to rebuild everything Including the tobacco farms, which will get put probably down here where I destroyed some of this stuff. All right, so you need quite a bit of sugar cane. So let's get some of those coming out here. Another Hacienda farm, please. I believe you were working on the sugar cane for us. You'll happily go right there, but that's also too far away for the tractor barns to get to you. Although, that being said, still do things like this. Not the tractor, the uh, the fuel station. That's the word we're looking for, is the fuel station. I bet he can reach it now, can't he? Yes, he can. Good. 
All right, so you are going to get some sugar cane going. All right, tractor barn, fertilizer silo, 118 fields. That's still really good. That's still so good. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. It's going to have to have room for all of that. So maybe I won't put that there. Just go sway with it. Okay. Let this right here uh, get set up and running. I uh, also want to go ahead and grab a fertilizer works. Get that put in here. I'm going to put him way over here. Reason being is because I am going to get some items on this. At the moment, uh, this is still early access when this is being recorded. And the processing time for the fertilizer works is at five minutes. We think this is wrong. We're not entirely sure yet, but we are trying to get confirmation on that. So I'm going to bump your workforce conditions up to 50%. Bring that process processing time down to 30 seconds. And then I'm going to come over here. We're going to check out that fertilizer works. See what else? Uh, I think I have a double redundancy. No, I don't actually have a double redundancy anywhere. I could. Use... I do want a Thielman's tube. That's going to be really, really useful. So a Thielman's tube, a Ferros Al Cerami, and then yeah, I guess a double redundancy. The workforce plus thirty percent is a little yeah on that one. The big, big fan. It already takes 30 workers, so another 30%. Be like 40-ish. Give me up to 40 workforce. That's not bad, honestly. Yeah, look at that. Um, Search Institute. Oh, wait. Fertilizer works. We're just going to research these. Um, You go ahead and craft me another one of those. Can I assist you, perhaps? Fertilizer works. Oh, I don't have the Thielman's too, where I can actually craft it. Crap. Never mind. I do have one in Winchester, so that's fine. We will just go get that. And then in that case... I guess I could do a printing press. It does decrease the workforce needed, so that combined with that's going to give me 50% workforce reduction on it. Add that. Let's add these th two things right there to the queue. And we need an animal farm nearby. So I think I've got several scattered around here. Yep, there's one right there. Let's bring you up. Uh, let's just go ahead and bring you up right there then. A fourth one can go right next to it. Now, here's a little interesting something that, again, we're not sure if this is working as intended, but the silos no longer have to be attached to their respective buildings. So you can put it way over here if you want to. Kind of a uh, fun little fun little trick right there. All right. So it's going to get these right here taken care of. Now, that's only going to be enough for... One of these right now, we're going to be kind of running low on fertilizer until I get some of these up and running. And that's okay. I'm not worried about that just at the moment. Let's come over here. We'll go ahead and also grab a... No, not a not, not that kind of corn farm. Yeah, dumb dumb. We're going to grab an Hacienda corn farm. Although that does not affect corn... This was the corn. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have to kind of remember what's doing what sometimes. I uh, I kind of tend to forget. All right, so you are going to do some corn for us. What I can do is turn some of these off. Like, I really, I, I can just turn that one off because I'm not going to need it. Again, I can just take it, but I can turn this off because I don't really need it at the moment. Whoa, what's, what's just happening here? There we go. Okay. Now, it's corn going. See how we're doing on the sugar cane now. 
That's actually pretty impressive right there. That is rather impressive. For how quickly that is uh, functioning now. So, looks like one more of these would actually be plenty. Maybe plop him right there, and then I want to uh, move some of these fields maybe over to here. There go. I'm going to turn you off for right now. Okay. There we go. Now we've got enough uh, sugar cane coming out, making plenty of corn. Need that cocoa working. And then get the uh, tobacco rebuilt. Good deal. All right. So we'll get the uh, cocoa on this side. Uh, you know what? Let's, let's kind of make the best use of our space here. Drag this one up here. Coco. Uh, I do have to keep an eye on this guy and see where he reaches to. Can't quite tell. I think he reaches up there. I think he does. We'll find out real soon. I'm going to put that on there, but then pause it. I don't want to use it just yet. And get our cocoa fields coming out here. Oh, it's a nice little square that it makes. Lovely. Yeah, it reaches good. All right, let the cocoa catch up. We'll see how it's doing. Man, that is some, some horribly fast and efficient production here. All right, so looks like we just need one more cocoa plantation. Even though this will increase it by another 100% once we have some of this stuff going, it's still not going to be enough, and that's fine. Sometimes it's just not enough. So we're going to go ahead and place down another thing of it right here. Again, pause. And see if I can't get this in here. Oh, one tile. One measly tile. Okay, fine. That's going to annoy so many people with that. Uh, can't help it. Can't help it. Storm is already full. That's that's lovely. Um, yeah, we're doing pretty well on that right there, though. Without all of these these things right here going, still have plenty. So let's actually go ahead and also grab ourselves. A nut, one more Ossian to farm. It does not have to be within range of the uh, of the of the thing over there. That thing. It, it could be. May not hurt for it to be. No, it doesn't need to be because we're not going to be using much of it. We will put tractor barn on it though, and grab ourselves the spices. Fix that just just a touch at least. Uh why are you saying that there's no Oh, it's outside the Hacienda range. Oh, okay, well that's that's an easy fix then. I can easily fix that. Put you right there then. And what I'll do is I'll take that out. Move that over here. That way I can drag a little road right here if I want to. Wow, you are really struggling, aren't you? Alright, there's that. Souvenir seller. We are out of bricks. This is all going to catch up soon, so... Super worried about it. Wasn't I making bricks like, yeah, down here, I think I was. Yeah, this is where I was making the bricks, actually. I'm not making any of there. We'll go grab some bricks from down there and bring those up here and get that started. Until then, we will grab one more Hacienda Brewery, and we're actually going to put it down here near the spices. 
because this is going to be for the hot sauce. Get our hot sauce coming in. All right, everything's looking good now. Yeah, this is all looking rather lovely. But good. In terms of consumptions, consumptions are looking really good at the moment. Not having to worry about any of that. Let's see. You are going to come and pick up some stuff for us over here. A little bit of brick that we need. Bring that back here. All right, let's get the tobacco farms rebuilt here. Now, we are going to want that and that. Again, with a pause on that, though. It does kind of suck that you can't make tobacco with these but I guess that's a little too powerful yeah, I had two of them but they were yeah I didn't have two of these actually is this it does have the tractor bonus now so yeah uh, I'm busy I'm busy Isabel sorry I'm busy very, very busy right now. Okay, you know what? Hold on. I'm going to actually pause that. That stuff at now. I always forget where it's at. It's listed right there. Slow things down for a second. I want to put it on this for the tobacco and see what that does to it. Don't have any in storage at the moment. How's this stuff right here coming? 12 more minutes on that, then I can go pick those items up and bring them back. Okay, cool. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for those items to be done, bring those down here, and uh, slot them into a trade union that's going to hopefully somehow cover, hopefully somehow cover that thing. May have to, may have to weasel that in here somehow. Weasel him in right there and move this. Yeah, I'll, I'll do a little reconfiguring here to make all of this fit the way I need it to and get some items coming and we will take a look at those here in just a second. So I'll be back in just a moment, guys. All right, so a little fiddling around has got me some stuff I needed over here. Uh, we've got... I went ahead, oddly enough, I'm going to use a hybrid tobacco seed because it does increase productivity by 25%. And let's see, tobacco plantation right here. Um, I have a choice between either the uh, pedologist who increases productivity by 15%, but does give us extra cocoa or the uh, Mrs. Brown cultivator who gives us cocoa, caoutchouc and cotton. So I think I'm actually going to probably mm, the caoutchouc and cotton is not a big deal. I actually honestly plus one every five. Is a little bit better, I think. I think I want to go for the pedologist, honestly, right here. What? So that takes care of that. We've got the silos going on both of those. So that gives us just enough tobacco now. Plenty of uh, plenty of cotton. We still have plenty of dung coming in. I did build another fertilizer works right here. And we got some items going for them. Now, I want to double check... And I did, of course, make another Ferrisol Cerami for this. But I also crafted this right here that affects the fertilizer works. It does give us ethanol, but these things produce so slow that it's not really worth it. So we're going to go for Ferris. Just on that one right there. And that should take care of our need for all of the... If I can remember where it's at. Yeah, so we're really good on fertilizer now. So if I need to... As I need to, I can turn on the fertilizer uh, silos on these different farms as I need more of those goods, especially for things like maybe sugarcane later on. You know, and this one right here, I'm thinking this affects all drink production, which would affect the Schnapps distillery 
as well as that hot sauce. Might not be a bad idea. Get that hot sauce factory up in here to be truthful with you. Because uh, hot sauce is a drink production. So this does increase that productivity a little bit right there. Gets it down from two minutes down to one minute, 10 seconds with that. Schnapps is down to 35 seconds. That's pretty, pretty handy right there. We've got plenty of room to spare as I need to put in more stuff around our little hacienda right here. Now, I did say that I'm also going to do one down here, and that is what I plan on doing in the next episode. Is we're going to get these. Uh, it's mostly going to be this, probably center it right around this island and get our coffee and all of this corn right there moved away. I think that's all that's over here. Coffee and corn? Got two of those. Don't have we have no uh, sugar cane because there's no sugar cane here. Now I could make sugar cane here if I wanted to, honestly, and give them some rum, which would increase their happiness and give us a little more coin, which I'm not too concerned about. But if I wanted to, I could do that. Now they do need beer, but their beer is being supplied currently currently by Gordon the Master Grocer, so I don't really have to worry about the beer either. So I think all in all pretty good start to the seeds of change dlc we've we've re reduced this uh all this farmland down to this little space right here and a little bit right here with all of that so we have saved ourselves some room and i've got room for plenty more residential stuff i am planning on a full residential hacienda as well Not sure where i'm going to build that one maybe we'll do it over here on a uh, vacation However you say it's Vaca, we're going to call it Vaca. I'm thinking about maybe doing over here on Vaca, just having like maybe like right here, have a uh, Hacienda down here that's all residential stuff. Uh, maybe down here. I don't know yet. We'll find a place for it and to have a full residential Hacienda just for population purposes and for fun because it's all about fun. Ooh, maybe actually we can take out this little town, Alastanias and make like an Ornolero Abrero Hacienda? Oh, I don't know. There's so many fun possibilities. I can't wait to play some more with this and see what I can do. But yeah, in the next episode, we're going to tackle Lestanias, reduce it down, save a bunch of space from all of these. I mean, what is this, 201 fields? I don't think so. I can get that down much, much lower. Less than 90 tiles for even more productivity than what this guy right here is giving us. So can't wait for that. And uh, with that, guys, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next episode. Until then, take care.